Hey guys, Teresa Campbell here, Hidden Hills Farms and Apiary at HiddenHillsHomesteading.com. Uh, today we're going to make, I've run out of my, well not quite out, but I need to start it now because it takes a couple weeks, um, propolis tincture. Okay, um, some people ask what is propolis? And um, a lot of people refer to it as bee glue. It's what the bees gather from uh, resins from the trees and off of leaves. And they make a real hard, sticky glue substance that they plug up all the holes in their hives. They use it, um, it's antibacterial. So it keeps their hives healthy. And if it is healthy for the bees, it's probably healthy for us. Um, different types of bees. Some bees are less likely to use propolis and some really like to use it a lot. They're just real liberal with their propolis. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, you go to get into your hive and you have to scrape like crazy and pry just to get your frames out. Um, I'm gonna come around here and show, this is what it looks like when you scrape it off of your frames and it ends up in a little ball or chunk that you have. And I always keep mine, I just put it in a bag um, when I'm scraping it off. And I don't like the big lumps. I see where a lot of people use the big chunks and lumps of it. You can use it, but it turns really, really hard. And I like using like a coffee grinder to grind up my propolis. So used to, this is how I get them, just scraping them from the frames. And I do still scrape from the frames and your inner cover and different things. I don't feel it's as uh, clean a propolis um, because the bees have put them there for a purpose. Sometimes it is just to stop them up. Um, once I discovered these propolis traps and started using them, this is so much easier. Um, to collect propolis. Uh, I usually put them on in the fall because that's when the bees are getting ready for winter and they like to uh, go into overdrive of using propolis. For one, a lot of times there's not um, pollen or nectar that they can be collecting. So if they can get the rosins off of the, out of the trees, off the trees, they'll propolis everything up. Um, I've actually, uh, watched a, a conference with Tom Seeley where he's doing research of lining the insides of his land's hives with these propolis traps so that his bees completely line the inside of his hive. Um, and he says that it's much healthier bees. Um, what I do with these is I take my inner cover off on the top. I place this on there. I don't put the inner cover back on. I have a, um, a vented, what I call a vented super. It's a, a very shallow um, rim that goes around and it has screened holes in it. And then I put the lid back on the top. What that does is that lets light into the hive and the bees don't like that. So they go and start propolising this sheet up and it looks a little bit let's come a little closer with it it looks a little bit like a queen excluder but the the little slots are smaller and you can kind of see where i didn't get all the propolis off of here but you put this in the freezer then for like 24 hours and after it's in the freezer you work it back and forth now i just put it in a trash bag in the freezer so none of it gets popped off and then pop it off and if you work quickly uh, then it doesn't thaw out and get sticky if you're working with it when it's frozen and this 
is then what you get. So it's little, nice little chunks. And those are what we're going to use today to make our propolis. Um, here was some uh, also from another one. If you notice, this one's really red. And I guess it's whatever trees that they happen to be using at the time uh, is what type of propolis you get. So our tincture that we're making today is one part um, propolis by weight, we're going to weigh it, to nine parts alcohol, and I always use Everclear. It's 95% alcohol by volume, it's 190 proof. And um, they say you can use vodka, it's not quite as high a proof. But I like using Everclear for all of my tinctures. Now this is going to be loud. As long as you do this while it's frozen, this grinder will grind it up. And you want it as small pieces as you can get. this over and let me see if I can get you a picture of it. It's nice and powdery in there. That makes it much uh, more efficient of um, dissolving in your alcohol. If you have big old chunks in there, your alcohol is only going to be able to work on the outside portion of it. quite make one ounce by weight and I do need one ounce so I'm gonna have to do this last little bit in this bag now you can buy propolis you won't know where it comes from, but if you do not have your own bees that you can collect it from. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put this into our pint jar. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to just put this in a dark place. Some place where you can like lay eyes on it every day because you want to shake it a couple of times a day. There we go. Wasn't wanting to zero out. So we've got one ounce there. I'm going to use the last of this bottle. They want nine ounces. Maybe a little over. Okay, it's a little over a cup. Major loss a little bit there. Now we'll just shake it really well. It turns a nice yellow color. Got some on the outside of the alcohol on the outside. And you'll have little bits and pieces of stuff in there. But you want to leave this for a couple of weeks. Shaking it a couple of times a day. 
Then we will filter it, um, filter it out. And then I keep mine in these little dark brown stoppered bottles that have an eyedropper on there. And I put this in my morning smoothie every morning. So you see it's a nice yellow color. And what I use is that amount twice. I just squeeze the, the dropper. Put it in every morning. So with this amount right here, I end up with like six or seven um, these little bottles filled. Now, what propolis, every bit of your propolis will not dissolve and disappear. You will still have propolis in the bottom of your bag and you can reuse that propolis. This is propolis from another tincture and it's a lot softer. It's not hard like propolis after it's come through the alcohol. I didn't use this today um, just because I wanted to show you the process of um, how I grind it in the coffee grinder and what it looks like um, straight from the propolis traps. So, shaking it a couple times a day, couple of weeks, mark your calendar so you know when um, it's done. So, propolis tincture has been studied for all kinds of ailments, um, cancer, stomach problems, mouth sores, uh, all kinds of things that propolis could um, help you with health-wise. So that's all for today. Be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell down below so that you'll get notified um, when I put out a new video.